What's up guys? I'm Mike. Welcome back to another video. I figured I would show you some of the jeans and the denim that I sell as a six-figure eBay seller. So we'll get right into it. Most of this, well a lot of this is Levi's and then some of the other bread and butter stuff that I pick up. I'll probably put some little stat or blurt up about either the sale price or the sell-through rate because it's either the overall sell-through rate my personal sell-through rate or the sale price is the reason that I picked this stuff up. So, uh, first item, getting right to it, is the Levi's Denim Pearl Snap. This is a 2XL, and it has like, actually had like a little loose stitching on the pocket. I don't know if I'm in frame, but it should still sell fine. So, all right, next up, Lucky Brand. I kind of... I stopped picking them up a little bit for a while, but then I started picking them up again when I was buying more jeans and they still sell good for me. So these are the 121 Heritage Slim. This is probably not the best style being a slimmer model, but it's still worth picking up in my opinion. All right, Buckle Black. This is something I actually haven't picked up Buckle Black in a while, but you know, the style is, you know the style. It's something that you get from Buckle, the thick stitching with the washout or the whiskering. It's a, it's a specific look. And the pants, in a good size, good condition, you definitely should be able to get 30, 35 bucks for them. So, all right, these are not normal Levi's. These are Levi Strauss. However, you can see these are the workwear double knee. It's not a great size. I think it's a, yeah a 40 30 but you know i'm not gonna i couldn't leave this it's like a, it's just a unique pair of jeans i haven't seen these before so i don't know a lot about them at the moment but i know that they were worth the six bucks i paid all right next up rock revival i never owned a pair of these but having them in person they're like a very heavy jean these are the george george Strait, and a 34 you can see they have like the the distressed repaired look i actually don't know if that's factory or someone else did it let's see what the inside looks like yeah still still hard to tell either way though these weren't marked up this is a pair of jeans that some thrift stores you can go in and they'll be charging 25 even 50 bucks for i've seen I paid, uh, they didn't have a specific price, so they would have been $7.95 tops. All right, next up, this is a cool pair of jeans that you could miss if you don't know what you're looking for, because they just kind of look like a plain stone wash, but these are Levi's Silver Tabs. Um, I think these are the Relaxed. The Relaxed fit, yeah, baggier is better right now, but still, these are uh, 34, 32, and they're from 2001. With Levi's, you can check inside here for the manufacturer code. It's usually a three or four digit number. And then you find that on the tag and then you go over and you'll see the date. It works most of the time. You, there's more to it than that, but that's like a good, a good starting spot. Now this was another, this was probably my favorite pair of jeans in this pile. We have a vintage 501 in like this light wash black great natural distressing along the pockets this cool like copper worn in and there's no holes it's just like a really good patina good wear even has some wear i forget what this is called the stitching on the back pocket i should i should know that but maybe i'll look it up and i'll add it okay so if you know me or if you have been reselling like you remember vintage tommy used to be really good and then I stopped picking it up. I actually took a bunch of vintage Tommy off of my store, but I'm going to share something that still has a really strong sell-through rate. And that is vintage Tommy black carpenter denim. And so I have the, the jeans. This isn't a great size. It's 38, 30, but people that are wearing it really baggy, like, you know, is a, a person who wears the 34, 36, even smaller. I've seen certain people, skaters, who <laughs> their pants are huge. So we have the same thing in 
just your jean shorts or jorts. I always like really thought that was kind of a dumb um, word or term, but it makes sense and it's a, a good, it can be a good keyword for the right pants. So what do we got here? Okay, Big Star. I have not sold these as much as other similar jeans like True Religion or Silver or Miss Me or any of those other thick stitched ones. But I have sold these a few times and they are a similar jean. These are the the Voyager. It looks like a, either a straight straight leg or like a boot cut. And next up, I think this is another pair of Lucky Jeans. I was actually got these today. And as I was paying for them, the cashier started laughing and she saw the the lucky you on the fly. I think that was the first time she ever saw that. She thought it was funny and had to point it out to me. Oh, I also got these because it's a, a rare size. This is a 34 or 36. Alright, and then the last item. I, I grab these every time I see them, and I, I get them pretty often. It's like the Y2K denim with the big metal buttons. You see, this is uh, what the tag looks like. So anyways, I just wanted to show you a few of these jeans so that I could finish processing them and put them away. And uh, hopefully I put some useful information in and it was helpful to you. Later.